marched into the living room, my butt sweating in anger. I marched up to my twin brother Sammy on the sofa, snatched his can of juice, and dumped it on his head. He made a run for it, and I was chasing him with a baseball bat when Mom walked in. Alexis, what are you doing to my poor baby? Your poor baby locked me in a haunted house down the street. I nearly pooped my pants. Didn't you guys notice that I've been gone for hours? How could we? Sammy hurt his widow toe when he was in so much pain. Oh, yeah? Well, he's about to be in a lot more pain than that. Enough, Alexis. Quit bullying your brother. Hey, guys, it's Alexis, and I'm about to tell you why having a twin brother is an absolute nightmare. But before that, please like and subscribe to MSA. Ever since I was born, my twin brother Sammy acted like he was better than me just because he was born ten minutes earlier. Even my parents acted like he was God's gift to mankind and pampered him all the time. It's not like they hated me, just that Sammy was the apple of their eye and he could do no wrong. Like on our 10th birthday, my parents threw us a beach party and I spent an hour building the most amazing sandcastle. But just as I turned my back to grab a shovel, Sammy and his best friend Nathan came running and smashed it to pieces. Why did you do that? Because it was ugly and it was ruining my perfect view. He threw sand in my face and ran away. Are you okay? I will be now. I threw the beach bucket at Sammy and it hit him in the head. He cried and Mom grounded me for bad behavior. Unbelievable. As we grew older, Sammy just got more annoying. He and Nathan were the brattiest kids in school and would constantly embarrass me with their stupid jokes and dumb pranks. Like this one time in eighth grade, we were in the science lab doing experiments and Nathan was my partner. Tell me, what's gravity? Oh, that's easy. It's when Alexis tries to get up from the bed but can't because she's a big fat cow. Enough, Sammy. Funny how you're talking and all I can smell is garbage. Maybe that's because you haven't showered in days. I felt so mad I flung a book at Sammy. He ducked and started attacking me with pens. The two of us got into a fight, crashed into a table with chemicals, and caused a huge mess. Nathan tried to break us apart, but ended up getting punched. The teacher sent us straight to detention. My parents were pissed. But as always, Sammy pinned it all on me, and I got grounded for a month. I knew there was no point in arguing, so I just avoided everyone and focused on my studies. I became the smartest kid in class, and I joined the poetry club, yearbook committee, and debate team. In 10th grade, I got a chance to represent my school in the national debate competition. And that's where I met Tony. He was the captain of the debate team, the star tennis player, and the hottest boy in school. Together, the two of us nailed the competition, and when we got back home, Tony invited me to one of his practice tennis matches. After the practice, we were having a conversation when he suddenly pulled me close. Whoa, was he about to kiss me already? I pouted my lips and was about to close my eyes when I noticed his hand stretched out holding a tennis ball. That was coming straight at you. We don't want that pretty head of yours to get hurt. My head's pretty? You like the shape? Well, thanks a lot. I mean, for saving my pretty head. Not for saying that I have a pretty head... But thanks for that, too. Um, can I get you an energy drink or something to thank you for saving me? How about a date instead? Yeah, it was fast. But sometimes you just know when it feels right. Soon, Tony officially asked me to be his girlfriend, and I was riding high. Dating someone popular meant that people knew me as more than just Sammy's sister. I was getting noticed, and I was loving the attention. But it drove Sammy crazy. One night, Tony and I were going to a party with a bunch of friends when Sammy walked in. Don't you think you're a little too young to be wearing that dress? Don't you think you're a little out of line to be asking me that question? Also, we're twins, genius. So if you're old enough to do anything you want, so am I. Fine, do what you want. Just don't become a bigger loser than you already are. At least not for that clown Tony. You know he's a player, right? He's always got his arm around a new girl. He's just a really friendly guy. Nothing wrong with that. And he says hugs are good for mental health. I literally saw him feeding french fries to that cheerleader just yesterday. She has carpal tunnel syndrome, Sammy. Her wrists are in pain. He was just being nice. Why is it so hard for you to believe that a hot, popular guy could be into me? Just stop 
being a jerk and leave me alone. But after that day, it became Sammy's life mission to annoy Tony every time he saw him. Like this one time in the cafeteria, Tony and I were chatting when Sammy dumped a bowl of spaghetti on him. Oops, my hand slipped. And another time in class, just as Tony was about to take a seat, Sammy pulled his chair away and he landed on his butt. Your seat looks more comfortable. Mind if I borrow it? Tony almost punched Sammy, but Nathan intervened and saved him. Sammy backed off for a while, until a few weeks later, Tony and I were having dinner at this really fancy place, and suddenly, he jumped out of his seat, screaming. What? What happened? Please don't tell me there's a rat. I will freak out. The only rat here is you, Alexis. What's this? Tony shoved the phone in my face, and I saw a bunch of pictures with Nathan kissing a girl who looked exactly like me. I was so confused until he played a video where I was confessing my love for Nathan, and I immediately recognized the voice. It was Sammy's. Oh, that's not me. I mean, it looks like me, but... But what? You've been cheating on me with Nathan? No wonder your brother was annoying me these past few weeks. He wanted me out of the picture so you could be with his best friend. Hear me out. That girl in the photos is Sammy with a wig. We're twins, so we look alike. That's all. Please, you have to trust me. Stop making up stories. You're a liar and your brother is crazy. Both of you can go eat dust for all I care, but stay away from me. Tony was out the door before I could stop him. I rushed back home furiously and confronted Sammy, who started laughing like a crazy person. I can't believe he fell for that trick. <laughs> He's as dense as pudding, Alexis. I did you a favor. You're a jerk, Sammy. You ruined the best thing that happened to me, and you hurt Tony. He'll get over it, trust me. Also, now that you're here, pass me some soda. But I just dumped the can on his head and walked away. I hated him. The next day in school, Tony refused to talk to me. In fact, he went around the school telling everyone how I was a cheater and a liar. My popularity went down the drain in minutes, and I was back to being invisible. But Sammy acted like nothing was wrong and went on living his life. And after that day, I decided to get even with Sammy. I spent the entire week planning the perfect revenge. I knew the only person Sammy cared about was his best friend Nathan. So that's where I started. I found my opportunity when the teachers announced the test results and Nathan got an F. He was sulking when I found him in the hallway. Aw, this is what happens when you're best friends with a moron. Gee, thanks. Look, I'm a little bummed right now, so maybe rub things in my face later. Okay, okay. I'm actually here to offer you a really sweet deal. I need you to date me. Uh, what? Sorry, pretend to date me. You're Sammy's best friend, so if you start hanging out with me all the time instead of him, he'll hate it. He'll finally have a taste of his own medicine. I'm not asking you to do it for free, of course. I'll help you study and ace your scores. Um, no thanks. I know Sammy can be a jerk sometimes, but I'm not doing that to my best friend. Fine. Fail high school then. I heard you telling Sammy your parents were angry that you had a C in science. This score is worse, so good luck dealing with that. Wait. Fine. I guess we could make it work. Of course we will, my cute boyfriend. Now buckle up. We've got plans. The next day, it was time for phase one. I walked into Sammy's room and called a truce on my fight over Tony. Just as we were talking, Nathan walked in, pulled me by the waist, and kissed me. Sammy's mouth fell open like a broken door, and my heart fell to my stomach. What the heck are you doing? Get off my sister. Didn't you tell him, babe? Sammy, Alexis and I are dating. You're what? Dating. Are you stupid and deaf now? Come, Nate. We'll be late for the movies. Nate? He has a nickname now? Of course. That's what people in love do. Sammy was totally spinning out over our dates. But to make things worse, I crashed all of Nathan and Sammy's plans too. Video game night, baseball game, bowling alley. I was stuck to them like gum to a shoe. Sammy tried everything to keep Nathan away from me, but we just laughed it off. You know Alexis farts in her sleep? Aw, I'm sure it smells like roses. Alexis eats her boogers and then spits them out so they stick to the wall. She makes graffiti out of them. My baby's an artist. 
Watching Sammy's frustration was hilarious. But what I liked more was how Nathan was always taking my side. He'd been a brat to me growing up, but now he was caring and sweet. And even though I knew we were playing pretend, I found myself falling for Nathan. One day, I was helping Nathan with his homework in the library when he looked a little sad. When I asked him why, he told me that his mom was moving out. She's always busy and hardly ever around, but I still can't help feeling bad that I might not see my mom that often. I get it. My parents were hardly ever there for me, too. I mean, they were around, but they always loved Sammy more. Suddenly, Nathan held my hand, and my heart raced with excitement. He came closer, but just then the janitor showed up, and we were asked to leave. The next day at school, I couldn't wait to see Nathan again, when I felt someone grab my shoulder. Tony! Hey, babe. Miss me? Listen, I've been thinking about us. A lot. I know you cheated on me, but I'm ready to forgive you. You don't know this, but I kind of cheated on you, too, when we were together. Twice. Okay, thrice. Okay, fine. You want me to start being honest? It was six times. But I like you the most, because we're the same, meant to be, blah, blah, blah. Don't you think? You cheated on me? Yeah, but you get that, right? We're even now, babe. It's all good. Before I could say more, Tony pulled me into a kiss. As I pushed him off, I suddenly saw Nathan walking away with a bouquet of flowers, which he dumped in a trash can on his way out. So, what do you say? I say, you're a stupid, cheating, lying piece of poop, and we are nothing alike. And I'm glad my brother pulled a dumb prank on you, because it got you to admit what a sleazeball you are. Now stay away from me unless you want me to knock your perfect teeth in. Get that? I shoved Tony out of my way and rushed behind Nathan. I finally caught up with him in the parking lot. Nathan, wait! Tony was just... Save it, Alexis. I just saw your passionate kiss with Tony. I guess that was all part of the plan. Dating me would make Tony jealous and bring him back to you. Anyway, I'm glad your mission accomplished. And thanks for all your help with my grades. But I'd rather not be used like a toy anymore. With that, Nathan turned around and left. He didn't even give me a chance to tell him my feelings. I curled up in a ball in my room and cried so much harder than I ever did over Tony. I was still sulking when suddenly Sammy knocked on my door. Alexis... Are you okay? No, I'm not okay. And it's always your fault. I wanted to get revenge on you, and it messed up everything. What do you mean? I was desperate to make you pay for sabotaging my relationship with Tony. So I asked Nathan to pretend to date me so I could piss you off. But I ended up falling for him, and now I've lost him too. That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Yeah, I tease you, but I also love you. You're my sister. I wanted to protect you. Tony was a jerk, and he didn't deserve you. As for Nathan, I read your diary. You did what? Focus, Alexis. I know you like him, and now, just like a big brother, I'll fix it. You're ten minutes older. Do you want Nathan or not? Yes. Then come with me. Sammy took my hand and drove me to the beach where I saw Nathan sitting. We walked up to him, and Sammy backed me up about not having any feelings for Tony, but I could see that Nathan still had doubts. In case you won't take my word for it, Nathan, take Alexis's. Just then, Sammy took my diary out of his backpack and started reading. <clears throat> Dear diary, I know it was just supposed to be a trick, but Nathan is the best thing to have ever happened to me. He's so cute, his eyes remind me of the deep ocean. All I want is to lie in his arms and tell him how much I like him. Also, I got severe diarrhea the other day. Give me that, you moron! I quickly pulled the diary from Sammy's hand and smacked his head with it. Just then, Nathan walked over to me and held my hand. Do you mean it? That's how you feel? It's how I feel. I really like you, Nathan. And Tony was just a glitch in the universe. You're the one I want. And I want you, Alexis. I might throw up. Shut, Shut up, up Sammy. Sammy! Fine. Nathan pulled me in for a hug, and over his shoulder I saw Sammy smirking. My brother finally used his annoying brother powers for good and pulled off his best trick yet. Because even though that's how I feel, I definitely didn't write that stupid stuff in my diary.